Jen and Brent, that's how the Prachanzis are feeling tonight. They live in a home directly behind the shooter's apartment. They found their home riddled with bullet holes. Luckily, they weren't home at the time, although they feel if they had, things could have been a lot different. I saw the windows shot on TV. I said, yeah. well, these can't be our windows, although they, yeah. they look like them. The fallout from Tuesday's indiscriminate shooting spree riddles the home of the Prachanzis. Bullet holes line their walls, including two just inches above their daughter's bed. And this is, of course, emotionally. He said, well, I'm happy that my child is alive. More shots rip through the bathroom, cutting through the shower curtain into the wall. Two more right above the piano, where Dieter's wife usually plays. After you think about it, you think, well, how, how lucky are we to, to be alive and that we were not here for circumstances, because usually somebody's at home. Luckily, the family was on a weekend trip to Pennsylvania to visit their daughter's future college. She says since their return, she hasn't stepped foot into her room. I run home to be safe, and so when it, it was an invasion of my home and like my privacy, that was just so shocking. The state's chief medical examiner identified Matthew Walker as the man behind the seven-hour shooting spree in standoff. Police say at 6 p.m. Tuesday night, he killed himself with a gunshot to the head. One person, Ashwin Patel, was shot in the crossfire. The family of Patel, the owner of Shoreline Wine and Spirit, say he had successful surgery to remove the bullet and is expected to make a full recovery. I remember the Sandy Hook. I was in another school in Windsor. So it's always in the back of our minds. He just never, you, I, I can't really, we're still processing it, I think. Now, it's an event that the entire town is still processing. And with that in mind, Brantford Police, along with the Brantford Counseling Center, are offering free counseling to any residents in need. You can contact Brantford Police for more information about that. Also, there is a GoFundMe set up for Mr. Patel as he recovers from those medical costs. You can, go, you can donate to that by heading to fox61.com. In Brantford, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.